So I'm here at Kudo 3D's office in sunny California and we're going to come take a look at their new Bean 3D printer which is available on Kickstarter uh, right now. So this seems to be the right place. Hi Ted, are you here? Yeah. Hey, Ted. Uh, thanks for uh, strong stopping by on yep. Saturday. So, yeah. do you have the printer? Oh, yeah. This is our new printer. It's, it's sitting here and uh, it's actually printing now. Cool. And, uh, so, this is the Bean 3D printer that's on Kickstarter right now. Yes, that's it. Cool. So, tell me a little bit about this printer. So, it looks like it's a resin printer, right? Yes. And it's a resin printer, and you've got a object printing right now in a in a vat. Yes, then that's a, a drum type of vat, uh -huh. and it's uh, modified with our uh, PSP technology. So, uh, and wh when the uh, separation force is higher, then the vat would uh, start peeling like from inside mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. toward outside. I see. So that'll make then in allow users to print kind of a greater variety of different parts yes. than traditional drum vat designs. Yes. So let's take a look at a, at this printer printing here. Um, I'm going to be quiet for a moment so you can hear what it sounds like while we print. So what's happening here is the print goes down and there's a LED light source at the bottom that will cure an individual layer. Um, and then at the end of the cure, the part will lift. Mm -hmm. You'll hear a little thump as the part comes off the bottom of the vat. Um, and then it'll go back down for the next layer. So you've got some parts here that were printed by the bean that yes. we've done in advance, right? Yes. That's uh, for the campaign. Mm -hmm. Cool. So we've got this piece here, and this looks like, is this the same thing that's on the printer right now? Uh, this is a smaller version. A smaller version of it. And so we can see the, mm -hmm. the detail that's possible in this, uh, in this print. And then we've got some rings here. <laughs> that's the one we uh, shown in the video. I see. And there are 39. 39 okay. rings all at once. So if you needed to make a lot of rings, you could print out a large number of them all at the same time. And then, um, and we've got an example of your first printer. What is that, three years ago? First two, <laughs> the left one is Titan 1, and the right one is Titan 2. But the difference, it's only like the uh, user friendliness. Mm -hmm. The right one has a building a Raspberry Pi and it's Wi-Fi enabled. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but in terms of performance, they're the same. Mm -hmm. And kind of what did you learn from the Titan 1, the Titan 2 um, that you took when you, when you made the bean? It, it, it is purely uh, not like a, a technical thing. We will learn from the market. Mm -hmm. The market likes something really uh, smaller. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's really sometimes hard for us to uh, uh, to tell people how Titan's working because it's so big, mm -hmm. and it's hard for us, for our distributor, to uh, to uh, tell people around. So that's why we keep thinking, you know, it, it is possible to make it smaller. But for DLP, it's very very hard, mm -hmm. and and that's why we look into uh, LCD mm -hmm. and. So that's how uh, Bing, you know, uh, <laughs> was, you know, uh, designed. It, it, it's, it's solely for compactness. Right. And we want this to be popular. And we hope uh, our Kickstarter campaign can uh, give us a boost of this new product. Great. Yeah, I know I bought, I backed the, uh, the Titan 1. And when I took it to my nearby makerspace the first time, it was certainly, um, it's a, big thing to pack into pack into my car. I backed the the bean at the four ninety nine at the deluxe package level and it looks like it would be a lot easier to carry this around, put it on a shelf, uh, kind of go anywhere with it. 
Okay. So I think next week we're going to do a live stream. Yes. Um, and we'll also have, uh, if you live in the San Francisco Bay area and you can come over to Tech Shop in San Jose, we'll have the printer live yes, and we'll printing. Yes. Great. Look forward to it. Hope that uh, any of you guys who are out there looking at this video will be able to join us. Thanks, Ted. Thank you, James.